hello welcome to our first video in fluid dynamics um in this video we'll be dealing with vector flow or vector field visualization okay so if you've not subscribed to my channel yet kindly subscribe for more videos in the future all right so if i have a vector like this how do i plot this vector on um a cartesian plane okay all right so let's say um f of x y is always given like that now if i pick x sorry if i pick x equals one y equals one what will be my evaluation for the vector then f of one comma one would always be equal to the same i plus j okay we're still moving i units on the x and i units on the y sorry j units on the y now i go to s equals two y equals one okay f of two one will still be i plus j since we don't have any x and y attached to j and i okay so this means that for every pair of points that i pick i'll still get i plus j i plus j i plus j i hope you get it now let's erase this and write some set of points employed and plot them on a cartesian plane okay all right so uh, let's say i have um, let me use a blueprint for you as i have um, it means f of one one okay will still give me i plus j f of one two will still give me i plus j f of two one will still give me i plus j f of zero zero still give me i plus j and f of negative one negative one i plus j f of negative one negative two i plus j okay f of negative two negative one i plus j you can continue and do a whole number of them but let's come and plot with these few points that we have here okay okay so um let's say i have my cartesian plane like that let me draw it um there's a cartesian plane let me draw it well properly for you okay let's say there's a cartesian plane okay now you know this is my y value sorry my y axis and this is my x axis okay let's say i pick one here should i use a new yeah let me use a new color so that you get it well okay let's say this is my one this is one two three okay whoa the three is not coming well whoa two three okay two let's use these three points three it's not drawn to scale though okay negative one negative two negative three then negative one negative two negative three so if i stand on this point zero zero is what still i plus j okay i hope you get it so it means i'll move y unit to the right y unit to the left this is what it means sorry y unit to the right of x axis and y unit to the top of y axis since we have in front of this there's always what positive positive okay in front of the vector field we get here okay for this vector field we get here for every one of the points that we selected we had positive i plus j it means positive i and positive j this means when i'm coming to plot the vector at the point i have to move where it is positive if i have positive i it means i have to move to the right of x if i have positive j it means i have to move to the top of y but if i have negative x i have to move to the left of x 
and if i have negative y i have to move to the down of uh, y okay and so if i stand here what is um the number in front of sorry number in front of i the number in front of i is what one positive one so i have to move one unit to the right okay so i'll go this way i have to move one unit to the top okay now in that i have to draw my resultant force to this side okay because i'm moving this way and this one is also moving this way if i want to meet if i want to know the direction i just have to draw a parallel one of the y the parallel line of the y will be this side okay it's also moving up so you are moving to the right this one is also moving to the left you want to pass this way so that you meet the person at this point then you have to go up i hope you get it so that will be the explanation to it okay then um we don't need we don't actually need the directions on the right and then on the top okay all that we need is just the resultant force i was just trying to show you how to get um how to get your direction okay so like this now when i pick a point let's say um one comma zero mind you we said that for every point you pick the the answer or the vector we get is i plus j okay so if i pick um these points one comma zero that will be of this point okay that one to move like that two comma zero move like this okay i hope you get it so every point you pick you go like this and if i pick this you go like this if i pick that so every point zero three and one one you go like that one two you go this way one three you go this way and the lens are also the same okay so if i pick negative one negative one if you remember it will be at this point okay same thing you have to move right to the right because this is the evaluation we had and we had a positive i and positive j so it means you have to move to the right of x as this so from here to here then move to the top okay of y as it's like that but we said we don't need these lines all that we need is what the resultant um, vector field like that so in the plane this is what we'll be getting every point we stand in a plane we get something like this okay so this will be the vector field for or the vector field visualization okay for i plus j now let's do um another two example and then you will know what we're trying to say okay i hope you understood this all right so with this one let's see if i pick this point f of let's say x is zero y is zero okay we'll get what zero i okay plus zero j means you'll get it you get a zero vector okay um let me erase this and write it well we get zero i plus um zero j okay so there is a, we get a zero vector and f of one comma one will give me negative i plus j f of this time x is one y is two we get what negative two i plus j because we are saying is negative y plus xj sorry negative y i plus xj and so if i have two one i'll get negative i plus two j now let's see if i have f of negative one comma two i'll get what negative two i okay minus j if i have f of um let me see f of negative one negative one i'll get negative negative which will be positive so i'll get i plus j sorry i minus j rather because s is also what positive negative minus j f of mm, let me say negative one negative two get i minus two i minus j okay 
now with this let's try to sketch this one okay let's try to sketch it if i want to sketch this on a cartesian plane then it's definitely like this i put my line here oh let me undo it okay okay all right so if this is the cartesian plane like i said and this is my y axis and this is x axis okay if this is also the x axis okay then it means for every point like zero zero okay we still have the zero vector means we will move anywhere um, let me use the green line okay so zero zero will be at the center and you move anywhere because we can't uh, we don't have any magnitude to move the magnitude is still zero okay when i stand on one one okay, if i have one here and let's say one here let me draw them first or let me write them two three negative one negative two negative three it's not drawn to scale negative one negative two negative three okay so if i stand on one 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 is here but the vector we are getting is negative i plus j means i have to move what i is what for x i have to move one unit to the left of x because we have negative okay so i have to move this way okay i hope you can see that okay um, let me use um, the yellow pen for you all right so this is it and after moving to the left of um sorry the x axis the, then for the y we have plus j so i have to move one unit up so it's like this something like this and you move this way okay so in the power of this one here will be this side okay with that side and i'm moving this way and i'm supposed to continue moving this way to the top and you want to move on this line so that you can meet me here the person has to automatically go up right i hope you can see that so that is the explanation for the direction i'm coming to right here okay i'm coming to draw a direction for it um let me let me put it that way okay all right so this is one one and you are seeing that it will move this way okay now when i come to one two this is it the one two you move this way but then the magnitude will be different because the magnitude of this is bigger than this okay i hope you can see it now when i move when i come to um two one two and one i'll have to stand here and um this one i'm to i'm supposed to move the, the same thing negative on the x um positive on the y so the same thing here and let's see let's come to um this part where we have positive for the y so negative one negative one this side okay you are supposed to move positive on the y and negative one on the sorry positive on the x and the negative one on the y this means that we we'll move one unit to the right of x and one unit to the down of y so it's like this you move this way and move this way automatically I have to move this way okay i hope you can see it i hope you can see it. so the result tends to go that way okay let me see uh, the resultant will go this way okay now with the second one this one two negative two i negative j so um i'm supposed to move right that one is what negative one negative two so this side okay and that one to go here let's see if i go to um this one negative one two negative one and two okay um i have to move on both as this 
negative negative mean i have to move to the left of x here and also move to the down of y here and now you are moving this way where should you go so that it means i have to come this way okay all right so this is the point it will go this way now if you study this clearly it's as if we started somewhere here and all the arrows here were going this way and if we had done other plots in this field in this side in this second quadrant you will see that all the directions arrows will be doing this okay they will be pointing this side and this one too will be pointing this side okay and here we didn't do any but it would have been pointed this this side it means the direction of this or the visualization of this whole vector field is a circular path okay i hope you can see this so you can do this and try this in your notes thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel in our next video we'll talk about the flow behavior between two parallel plates so see you next time